What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to discuss the Canon 1DX Mark II still worth shooting in 2024. I'm not going to really go into the, the specs of the camera only because the camera's been out for a while now and I'm only going to just speak on my experience with the camera and how it holds up today. Before we get too deep in the video, how y'all doing? I know it's a uh, new year, new me, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what's your goals? What y'all trying to work on? Are we going to work on it? I guess I can talk real quick about the shoot. Um, the shoot with Sydney and Charday. Uh, this was strictly Charday idea, the makeup artist, and she bought this wig and reached out to Sydney again. And yeah, it was it was pretty cool. And I was just really just in the experimenting phase as far as like how I want to use lighting and what I want to go for for these pictures um, during this entire shoot. I can't say I walked into the shoot blindly because I, I seen some inspo pictures, but I kind of relied strictly on like the day of to like plan and see how things were going to unfold. I think this year as far as like and how I'm approaching everything that I'm doing, I'm not trying to box myself in into like doing things the same way every time when I know I can like push these boundaries and expressions a little bit further than what I'm used to doing because I'm like I said comfort can get you there and like breaking outside that box to like just push like to do more and and in your field it's something I think we all should be trying to like reach for nowadays. Thing number one that, that kind of stands out for me for the camera is designed to hold up and granted I've had the camera for probably five or six years now. The build of the camera is by far one of the best cameras I've uh, ever worked with and used in my hand and my own personal experience. So as far as that aspect, I, I genuinely love the camera and how it feels in your hand. Um, photo wise, it's a 21, 20 megapixel camera. It's not that big, but anything in my opinion that's over like 20, I think gets the job done. How about my camera was supposed to come in today? You did it. Dang. I finally joined. Um, I think it's, I think the video aspect the video is cool i think as far as like the camera itself is outdated when it comes to like auto focusing it's usable you know it lacks it doesn't have any like log footage in, into the camera and it doesn't uh has like face tracking it has it but it's it was put in in a time where newer cameras were like released right when mirrorless cameras start being introduced and it was really pretty much outdated at this point that's the thing as well that that kind of makes me push away from like anyone that's looking to get this camera that's like heavy into a video i wouldn't recommend them getting this camera strictly for that Hey y'all, it's Sydney Simone. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel for vlogs, behind the scenes, all things me. And it's my name, Sydney Simone. Sydney with a Y, Simone with a I. My granddaddy has some black and mouth, so they ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Please don't. Black and mouth, girl. <laughs> I'm like, good, stressed out. <laughs> So while this video is playing the behind the scenes of this photo shoot, I'm gonna talk a little bit more just about cameras. So the the main purpose of this video is not to get you to just buy the Canon 1DX, but to get you to see that you can make whatever you have in your hand work if you understand how to work that equipment. And I see how these camera, I'm not gonna say necessarily camera brands, but almost anything nowadays, they're always gonna push the newest thing that's coming out. Constantly seeing that like, oh, the newest camera finna come out, the newest car, the newest TV, you can get wrapped up in, oh snap, the newest one coming out. And it, it does this thing, but the thing you have works perfectly fine and you can neglect that thing that you have right there in front of you. And I want people to know that if you understand the basics on how your equipment works, that you can make anything work moving forward, no matter what you decide to get. These brands are going to sell their product to you to make you feel like you need it in order for you to be able to do this thing. So if the newest camera can shoot 
100 megapixel has face tracking 5k 8k 12k 36k i don't know um you'll feel like you can't do it unless you have that thing and that's not necessarily true i'm shooting with a seven year old camera i'm sure there's people that's out there creating movies with older cameras that we don't even know and i'm sure that they're not stressing over all oh, the newest thing they're working with what they're used to to get the job done and that's things that i want us to consider as photographers or just as a creator in general like understand what you have and use what you have to its limits like push those things and then whenever you decide to upgrade it's a lot easier for you to navigate when you have these newer products yeah it just it's really to just get what you have like whatever you have right now use it and have fun that's gonna like pretty much help you grow as a person as a photographer as a videographer or whatever it is you're doing and that way you're not getting wrapped up on oh i need the newest thing in order for me to do this thing here and that's not necessarily true because i'm proof here i'm shooting with a candy 1dx and some of these shots i took with a 50 millimeter 1.8 the cheapest lens you can buy so it's necessarily no excuse for you to not get out and make the effort to do something getting out to just experiment to see how if you actually like doing those things and understanding whatever whatever you're using it fits best for you and that's what you need to consider every time whenever you're upgrading equipment or whatever you're doing I appreciate y'all. I hope this video helped. And it's, like I said, it's nothing, it's nothing too direct and focused on the specs. It's just literally my opinion on the camera and my experience with the camera. And hopefully it helps someone make a decision if they want this camera. If not, don't buy it. Um, like I said, you can make anything work. It's literally up to you and how you want to use the thing that's in your hand. And as long as you know more about whatever camera you're working with, the more better off you'll be because uh, you'll have the knowledge and experience on how, like, how to work the basics. Uh, it makes no difference, like I said, buying a really, really expensive camera and you can't understand the fundamentals. So, yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, let me finish these photos so I can get this video done and put out within the next few hours or so. Uh, be great, like, subscribe, all that other good stuff, and I'll see y'all soon. Blessings. Appreciate it.